Well, I thought we we got off to obviously a sluggish start, and then I thought our bench came in and gave us a huge lift. And I think a lot of that could be attributed to Josh. You know, I love. I mean, you look at the box score; it's very telling. In uh, and then when the starters came back, they had they brought good energy. You know, the game was you, they they closed the gap in the third quarter. Good energy, and then. Same thing when we subbed to go into the fourth, that, that group gave us a big lift. And then uh, the thing that I think was important was this, it gave the starters a chance to close it out, you know, where they didn't have to play the extended minutes. And it was a good, solid team win. I thought the rebounding was terrific. Um, you know, Josh had nearly a triple double, but, you know, Quick had some big, big shots. And Deuce, you can't say enough about what he did. That's probably his best game as a pro, and uh, their their backcourt is so dynamic and puts so much pressure on you constantly, uh, and you have to have the discipline to do it over and over again, and uh, they don't go away. So uh, I was very pleased overall with our defense. I thought the rebounding was real good. And then in the second half, we took care of the ball. So we always say if we defend, rebound, and keep our turnovers down, we'll be in position to win. Um, you had a split of the four after dropping the first two without Brunson. Yeah, I know it's been an interesting, like this segment of games, when you l look at it, it was and we knew it would be challenging because we really we, we started in Miami. And so you're in the southeast, you go to Boston, then you have a pit stop for one game in, in New York. Uh, and then you, you head out to Sacramento, so you're zigzagging across the country, uh, then L.A., and then the final game here. The, the, that's a lot of miles. Um, so uh, overall, very pleased, uh, but there's still a long way to go, and there's obviously a lot of things that we have to correct. You mentioned you talked about Deuce always being ready, but he's out there, and I don't know if it's tiring you, but is anything else that you did defensively? And yeah. Yeah, and I think there was one play in particular that, you know, he got a deflection. We didn't have good floor balance. He deflected the ball, chased it down, and blocked the shot. And when you see that type of effort, that does nothing but unite and inspire the team. You know, that was a, that was a winning play. And I, I think Julius had a, a one that was very similar with the verticality. Uh, in, you know, that those those things are huge and they add up. Well, it does a lot, but there's so much more to it because it's not just the ball pressure up the floor because if you get all the way up, they're going to set a high pick, and now now he's in space. And if he's in space, that's a problem. So you have to have the ability to, to pressure the ball, then back up, then squeeze up, then get over the screen. Then get, he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's going to take on the blitz, which he did. Tell me he got, a, got around us. You know, he's, this guy's been blitzed his whole career, so he's not seeing anything new. And then you have that you were also exerting a lot of energy blitzing, you know. So, uh, and you're blitzing dribble handoffs, and they move them around well. So he, he knows how to create openings, and then usually he he gets more aggressive in transition. So if your bigs are dropping back into the paint, which it, he comes off a screen, his range is so deep. It, those are good shots for him. Like for most guys, you'd, you'd say maybe that's not a good shot, but for him, that's his range, and you better be there. I think just having the belief that we can we can do that. You know, we can overcome whatever comes our way. You know, sometimes we're going to have the lead. You got to play tough with the lead. If you get down, you got to have the belief. Okay, what is it that we need to do to get back into the game? And then once we get back into the game, and usually it's you know it stems from the defense, the hustle, effort, getting stops, getting some easy baskets, and then you can make up ground quickly because of the three. You know, so if we get the easy buckets, we get to the line, which stops the clock. Let's us set up our defense, um, and those things are all, you know, important. Obviously, without Jalen, and I know it's tough to not play a role. What is it about his game offensively that allows you to have such trust? Well, you know, the thing that I like about him is that he can play both with the ball and off the ball. So we were, we are able to use Josh a lot as the point. And Josh, you know, we have what eight eight or nine assists 
and then Quick can play off the ball. So now you can force the shift and it goes to the backside and, and you got Ian and Jules and we can screen for him when there's things we can do for him. And then you put him in pick and roll um, and we can take advantage of him that way. So um, you know, you, you're trying to, like, you look at your team and you say, okay, what are the strengths of each player? How can we maximize their strengths? That's what good offense is, right? And then you get everyone playing to their strengths, everyone covering up their weaknesses, and everyone helping each other play to their strengths. So you got to understand what your teammates do well.